All right, we're back on the same job we were showing the cleaning of. It was an evening, we're back the next day when the carpets are dry. We're going to post vacuum because we're trying to fluff these carpets up because they're pretty lifeless. They look good right now, but they won't stay good because they still have some other people coming in here to work. So we're gonna give them one more shot with the vacuum cleaner. So when we're doing this, we, only go, we usually only go one direction. We're just trying to uh, uh, modify the appearance of the carpet. We're not really trying to get a bunch of stuff out because there's hardly anything in the carpet to to, to clean out, so we'll probably just do one direction, and we're just basically trying to establish the, fi the carpet fibers all in one direction as much as we can. So here we go. Some of you are going to wonder why we went this direction and then this direction. Well, the truth is, I can't go this direction without having footprints in this side whenever I get up against that wall. So, our goal is not to make everything necessary go the same direction as much as get rid of all the footprints. And that's what we've done. Yeah, and we'll have to probably redo this whenever the last of the people we'll working in here. We'll redo this main strip. Yeah, there's going to be people working in here because housekeeping isn't done and a lot of other things. So, we'll probably have to come back and make the carpets look beautiful one more time. You might notice if you saw our earlier vacuuming videos and before we cleaned, there was in this area here, there was a lot of black, it was pieces of gum that had been stomped into the carpet. And they turned black over time. There was a red stain that was really bad and another dark stain and we took all this stuff out with a steamer. But we did not make a video of it, but if you look at the before, before uh, when we did our first pre-vacuum in the living room, you can see how bad the carpet really was with stains and everything. All right, we're gonna do the bedroom. And uh, you might stop the camera real quick. And yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna switch operators, I guess. So just stay tuned. All right, before I start vacuuming, I wanted to show you um, because we had a question from someone who has one of these vacuums and they want to know they're having trouble getting an adjuster dry. 
The easiest way I've found to adjust it is to loosen the handle and let's assume that it's turned on. I don't like to turn it on because of the noise, but what I do is I roll it back and forth a little bit and then I'll try another set lower, roll it back a little bit until I find the right height. And if it's hard to push, it's too low. And if it seems like it's you know really fluffing the carpet up aggressively, you're probably too low. And you want to raise it a little bit because if you can run it at the next higher setting, it saves your belts and everything. But that's the easiest way to adjust. And we always start on the highest setting. One other tip, when you're trying to adjust the height adjustment, if you tilt the machine back slightly, it takes all the pressure off the knob so you can turn it real easy. If you try to turn it while it's down on the ground, it's hard to push. We'll go ahead and adjust the height on this carpet yeah, right now. And then I'm going to start in the corner and work my way out. So we'll go ahead and do that for you and then... Normally when, you hear, normally when you hear the noise level change on the back end, that's when you're set right. That's not perfect, but it's close to perfect though. When you hear the pitch change on the motor, you're usually right.